Hi everyone. Meditation can be so counterintuitive in a way. When we're in pain or we have discomfort, it's like the last place we want to go sometimes is into the body. It feels like we just want to get out of the body, distract ourselves, you know, numb ourselves somehow, lose ourselves in external things. It's the last thing we want to do it feels like, is is be with the very thing we want to get rid of. But this is exactly the medicine that we need, actually, is, is to turn towards our pain, our discomfort, with this spirit of curiosity, fascination. As I always say, perhaps these painful places in us, these lonely places in us, these dark places in us, these uncomfortable places in us, they're just places in us that are starving, literally starving for our kind attention, starving for our presence, starving for oxygen. So in this meditation, we're going to be slowing down and courageously turning back towards our pain. And you can use this meditation for physical pain. It also works for emotional pain. Um, we're going to be turning back, turning back towards the discomfort, not trying to fix it, not trying to transform it, not even trying to heal it, not even trying to feel better. And this can feel so counterintuitive. Um, and of course, we have to honor that there's going to be a part of us, of course, that wants to feel better, that wants to heal, that wants to not be having this experience. But what we come to see actually is that it's our resistance to our experience. It's our resistance to having the experience we're having. It's our refusal, our rejection, our non-acceptance of the present moment that is actually responsible for a huge portion of our suffering, of our psychological suffering. Pain is inevitable. Suffering is optional, as the saying goes. Suffering is defined as our running away from our pain, resisting our pain. Uh, trying to have an experience other than the one we're having. Because we end up running from the present moment, splitting ourselves in two, and it's this split, dividing ourselves from ourselves, that can become so painful. A, ha a house divided from itself cannot stand, as the saying goes, or a house divided cannot stand. So, in meditation, we're beginning, and it's always a beginning, remember, we're beginning to unravel, to unwind, to deconstruct this resistance, this, this optional, so to speak, resistance, this unnecessary resistance. Our pain is enough. We don't need to add resistance to our pain, right? But sometimes our pain and our resistance to pain can get so entangled and bound up that we can't tell what's actual pain and what's resistance to pain. So that's why we have to go really, really, really slowly um, with this spirit of curiosity and fascination and just wanting to look at our experience, wanting to understand, um, wanting to become familiar with our inner world, with our, with our body. Um, so I just ask you to get really comfortable. Um, in this meditation, I'll assume you're sitting in a chair, but you can do this lying down or uh, anywhere really. Um, just take a few moments to get really comfortable. If you're in a chair, as always, just have your feet flat on the ground, your legs not crossed. Um, your back, your spine nice and straight but relaxed and, and, and your hands can just rest on your legs. And when you're ready, you can just gently allow your eyes to close. And to begin, and it's always a beginning to begin to bring your attention back into this unique, never before experienced, brand new present moment. To allow this present moment to become the most fascinating thing in the whole universe. Let this present moment fill up your awareness. Let it saturate your awareness. So this day, this hour, this minute, this moment becomes the most important thing in your awareness. 
just letting all the drama of the day fall away. And just notice if your attention has been off in the past or has been shooting off into the future. Can you just reconnect with what's here, with what is? Bring your attention away from what is not, what has been, what may or may not be in the future. And bring your attention back here to what is, to what's alive, to you as you are. Begin to notice what's here in this present moment. Just grounding yourself in the present moment, feeling your feet on the ground. Feeling the aliveness in your hands. Noticing the way your face feels right now. Just noticing what it's like to have clothes on your body. Noticing those places where your clothes touch your body. Noticing those sensations of contact, of touch, pressure. Just noticing the weight of your body now. Letting your body be heavy. Letting your arms be heavy. Letting your legs be heavy. Just letting your body drop into gravity. Just noticing the rising and falling of your breath right now. What's your breathing like in this unique moment? Is breathing fast? Is it slow? Is it deep? Is it shallow? Is it smooth and easy? Or does it feel a bit tight right now? Not trying to change this moment, not trying to control this moment. Not trying to breathe in any particular way. Just notice the way the body is breathing. Let the body breathe like this. Just paying attention to those rising and falling breaths. Noticing if there's any sense of holding around the breath, contraction around the breath, tension around the breath. And just see if you can gently soften any sense of holding. Just let the body breathe easily. Just noticing what mood is here right now. Do you feel up? Do you feel down? Or somewhere in the middle, neutral? Is there a mood of heaviness? Of lightness? Remember, there's no right or wrong answer here. In meditation, we're allowing the suchness of this moment. 
low mood, a sad mood, an angry mood, whatever's here, however life is painting itself through you right now. Or maybe you notice a sense of numbness, boredom, a stuckness. And just allowing, allowing yourself to have the experience you're having right now. Can you give yourself permission to have this experience, however uncomfortable, however broken you feel, messy, whether there's a sense of struggle here or calm, confusion or clarity. Can we just hold whatever's here in presence? Maybe you notice a sense of resistance, a non-acceptance, frustration. Can you just allow that to be here as well? Just part of the landscape of this moment, part of the suchness, the uniqueness of this moment. Just noticing all the sounds around you, just tuning into the unique soundscape of now. And just noticing right now if your mind is busy, noisy, chaotic. Or maybe you notice the mind is calm, quiet. Just acknowledging how this moment is without trying to alter it or add to it or take anything away from it. without trying to transform it or fix it. But also acknowledging any part of you that does want to fix it or run from it, escape it, make it stop. We just also open our hearts to these parts of ourselves Now just turn to any part of you, any place in your body that feels like it's calling for attention, maybe a physical pain, an ache, an area that feels tight or stiff or tense, contracted, uncomfortable. Just noticing if there's any place in your body that you find yourself avoiding, running from, distracting yourself from. So the invitation is just to go there gently, softly, slowly with your awareness to begin to get really curious about this part of your body or parts. The invitation is to gently lean in, to soften in to this area of pain or discomfort.
begin to get really curious about what's there. Just beginning to notice all the sensations there. What are those sensations like? Just for a moment, take away the word pain, take away the word discomfort. Take away all the words that you've used to describe this area. And just notice with fresh eyes and open heart the sensations there. Are those sensations sharp? Do they feel prickly? Itchy? Are the sensations warm? Are they cold? Are the sensations vibrating? Are they throbbing? Are they pulsating? Are they moving? If they're moving, how are they moving? Are they moving in straight lines? Zigzags? Spirals? What you may begin to notice is this area that you labeled as pain or discomfort is actually quite alive. There's not a solid thing there, a solid lump called pain or discomfort or whatever word you've used. For a moment you take away the word, you come out of thinking. We drop out of the mode of thinking about our pain or discomfort and we go to the actual raw moment by moment sensations. We may discover that they're not static, that they change moment by moment. So just bringing that curious, aware presence to the sensations. And if you'd like, you can feel or imagine some of your breath upon each inhale and exhale, moving into that area of your body, moving into those sensations. So you can feel or imagine your breath being sent from your belly all the way into those sensations. So you're breathing into the sensations, breathing through them, drenching them with your breath, bringing oxygen to those sensations. So you're leaning into the sensations with the warmth of your awareness, the warmth of your presence, and bringing the breath. And just noticing those sensations. How are they changing? How are they moving? How deep do they go in the body? How far do they spread? How far are they under the skin? Is there a colour associated with those sensations? And as you stay with those sensations, watch them moment by moment, notice how they change. See if any thoughts come up for you. Notice when you begin to lose yourself in the mind, you start thinking about the sensations. Notice if you go off into a thought story about the past, about the future. 
into the memory of pain, the memory of discomfort. Or if you notice yourself going off into the future about future pain, future discomfort. Notice if any judgments about the pain come up in your mind. Thoughts that say, this discomfort is bad, it shouldn't be here. It's dangerous. It's been here for so long, it will never go away. So just notice these thoughts if they come up, these stories, these voices. Acknowledge them. All the thoughts about the past, the thoughts about the future, acknowledge them. And then bring your attention back to the body, back into the present moment, back to the sensations themselves, the moment by moment sensations, the mystery of moment by moment sensations. Stay close to the level of sensation as sensations rise and fall, as they pulsate and flicker, become more intense, less intense. It's perfectly normal to get distracted, to go off into thought. And you can just gently bring yourself back, allowing these sensations, allowing them, breathing into them. Don't forget to breathe into them, to flood them with warmth and kindness and oxygen, life energy. Maybe this is just part of your body that has been longing for warmth, longing for love, and longing for breath. The most loving thing we can do is breathe into an area that hurts, breathe into a pain. Just become aware of any resistance that you have to these sensations. Allow those pockets of resistance into awareness as well. Notice any resistance that you have to this part of your body, to these sensations. Any sense of non-acceptance. Any sense of refusal. That part of you that doesn't want these sensations, that wants to be free from them. Get really curious. Notice if there's any feelings that come up as you stay with the sensations. Maybe a grief that wants to be felt. A frustration, an anger that wants to be felt. A sense of shame. Unworthiness, unlovability, powerlessness. These are all very beautiful, natural, harmless feelings that just want to be felt. So if any feeling is coming up for you now, just allow it. Just trust that whatever arises in meditation is not a mistake. It wants to be touched, it wants to be felt. It wants to be included, to be known as life, life itself. Feel how much life there is in you. Intense life, uncomfortable life sometimes, powerful life. So much life. Notice if there's a part of you that wants to make sense of all of this, wants to understand it wants to find a reason, wants to find a fix, wants to escape. Just acknowledge those thoughts, those narratives, if they come up. Maybe there's an old voice, conditioned voice that comes up, that, telling you that it's your fault that you have this pain or discomfort, that you did something wrong, 
that it's some kind of punishment. So again, just acknowledge if these thoughts come up, these voices. You can even gently thank them for their opinion, for their judgment, and then bring your attention back to the raw sensations themselves. Just meeting these raw sensations, breathing into them without judgment, just allowing. It's the key to all healing is allowing. Permission, permission for this life to move in you. Allowing any grief that comes up, allowing any exhaustion, anger, fear, whatever wants to come now, just to be felt. Just allowing. And allowing any non allowing, allowing any resistance. If you notice any pockets of contraction, resistance, non acceptance, you can allow those, breathe into those as well. Give all parts of you breath, all the life in you breath. So allowing. Maybe as you allow, you notice that the discomfort or the pain becomes softer. It starts to dissipate. Maybe you notice the sensations start to move. You move to a different part of the body. Just follow them with your awareness. Stay curious. Curiosity is the key. Stay curious and breathe into those sensations. Keep breathing. Sending breath to those sensations. Maybe you notice that the sensations stay the same. They become more intense, maybe. Or hotter. Colder. Maybe you notice your body starts to tremble or shake, or your temperature changes, or you notice yourself yawning, or tears come to your eyes. We're just allowing. These are just all the ways in which the body releases tension, releases contraction. You're not pushing yourself for any particular result. Notice if there's any sense of aggression of trying to push yourself too hard, of trying to heal, of trying to feel better, of trying to be free from pain or discomfort. And just notice that subtle sense of resistance, that self-aggression. You can just notice it. Let it be here. That part of you that always wants to be somewhere else, having some other experience. You can forgive that part of you as well. It doesn't know any better. It never learned how to be here. Honor the life that's here. Just 
honoring yourself as you are. Honoring that you're always doing your best. You're doing your best. And just letting yourself rest now. No more trying. No more effort. Just let yourself rest. When you're ready, you can just come back into the room, into the present moment, into this brand new instant of your life, this, this beginning. <laughs> 